Alrighty guys, welcome to Singapore Changi Airport Terminal 3. Today we are on our flight uh, Singapore Airlines, another A350-900 uh, off to Colombo, Sri Lanka. Uh, Travelling time is about 3 hours and 45 minutes. I'm here at 4.45 because I got in at midnight last night from Melbourne and I had one day of transit so I just went around Singapore. Uh, so I won't really be checking in per se but I've got to uh, go and get my bags and then uh, head towards the terminal. Uh, I won't do a full lounge review or an airport review today but if you'd like to see one let me know and maybe I can do one in the future but let's all go in now and uh, catch our flight to Colombo. Alrighty, so if you're flying to South Asia on a Singapore Airlines flight, your aircraft will depart from Terminal 3. If you arrive from Terminal 2, you can hop on the SkyTrain that conveniently links all the terminals together. They're very efficient and they run every 5 minutes. At some point in the future, I might have to do a separate video on Shanghai Airport alone because this airport in itself is an attraction. Ranked as Skytrax Airport of the Year, it's not hard to see why more travellers flock to Singapore each year to transit. I have a 23-hour transit in Singapore as I connected through from Melbourne, so I explored Singapore and got some work done while enjoying the many eating outlets both in Singapore and at the airport. If you've got a day to kill, I can't recommend the airport enough. The aircraft this evening is a 3 year old Airbus 350-900 under registration number 9 Victor Sierra Hotel Oscar that had arrived from Brisbane earlier that evening. It has 263 packs in economy class and accommodates 40 in business class. The aircraft is laid out in a 333 configuration. The transfer desk bloke at Singapore stitched me up because I specifically asked for a window seat and gave up my extra legroom seat in exchange for it. He said absolutely and printed my new boarding pass. I didn't realize until I sat down that it was an aisle seat. Oh well. Welcome to seat 49D which is a standard economy class seat on Singapore Airlines. It comes furnished with a pillow and a blanket as well as decent legroom. Your seat is equipped with an IFE monitor and a charging port for your devices. Do so by the flight path program of your personal entertainment system. 
At present moment, we are almost fully ready for departure, just waiting our air traffic clearance and the closure of our last cargo door before we are on our way. In the meantime, we invite you to sit back, relax and enjoy the flight and thank you for choosing to fly with Central Airlines. Can we go select doors to arm position and cross check video which will now be shown? Your in-flight menu is accessible through your smartphone by scanning the QR code. Good job to Singapore Airlines for their extensive food and beverage list even in economy class. This flight had two options available, including dessert. On typical Singapore Airlines flights, you're usually presented with one Western option and one Asian option. Either way, they'll always try to include some form of carbohydrate, protein, sauce and a vegetable of some kind. The in-flight entertainment system has a vast and extensive range of movies and TV shows plus music for you to choose from. With a flight that's just under three and a half hours, Singapore Airlines has definitely got you covered. The meal service started about 45 minutes after takeoff and on tonight's service to Colombo we've got chicken with rice and vegetables which tasted alright. If you like cocktails, however, do yourself a big favour and order the famous Singapore Sling. You can't go wrong with this concoction.
Welcome to the bathroom of Singapore Airlines A350-900. The bathroom has amenities such as toothbrushes and toothpaste. On shorter flights, the crew don't typically hand out amenity packs anymore. However, if you ask them, they'll never say no to you. It's just one of the lengths that Singapore Airlines goes through to keep their customers satisfied. This bathroom features a coat hook, a sink, a bin, a functional toilet, and all in all, it's got my seal of approval. We're touching down in Colombo shortly, so what has this boy and his two cents got to say about Singapore Airlines? Firstly, the pros. Complimentary food and beverages included in any fare that you pay for. The food is tasty and exceptionally good. The Singapore Sling in particular is a fantastic cocktail that would be absolutely criminal if you've never tried it. The crew on this flight were attentive. All it took was for me to twitch my eye and they would know something was up and come ready to help in whatever way they could. Also, I noticed one of the crew members had a German flag on his name badge which could indicate that he was able to converse in German, which I imagine is helpful on flights to and from Frankfurt. The in-flight entertainment system was plentiful and so was the interactive flight map. Good job Singapore Airlines. The cons of this experience definitely included the stitch up with the bloke at the transfer desk. This meant that I had to produce abysmal landing and takeoff footage. I'm not sure how I could have been more clear in requesting a window seat, especially if I was trading off an extra legroom seat, but oh well, life goes on. The price is another drawback. 
Presently, there are two airlines operating the Singapore to Colombo sector. Sri Lankan Airlines is the other competitor on this route and depending on when you book, Sri Lankan tends to be the more cheaper option. Regardless, Singapore Airlines is a fantastic airline and I'd rate this flight a 7 out of 10. Remember, if you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe and bell button icon so you can be a part of all the cool kids and never miss out on my content. I'll review airlines so you never have to pick the wrong one again. Follow my TikTok and Instagram where I post photos and reels of all my travels. As always, your support goes a long way and I hope that you can help me reach 1000 subscribers by this year end. Have a pleasant day and I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until the seatbelt sign is off.